Hi, I didn't see you there. It's Deez, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously, I was just being a little sarcastic and silly, but, um, I don't know if you've already noticed, but if you haven't, um, my boyfriend, Joe, um, gave me a manicure and, um, applied some of this Sally Hansen, um, diamond strength to my, uh, nails for me, um, and, like, he has a really, really, like, physically demanding job, he, like, does manual labor for a living, um, and he just, like, he, he loves to do nails and stuff, and he's really good at it, and I was like, oh, I'm, like, I was feeling kind of insecure, and my, like, cuticles were shot and stuff, so he, like, just, like, out of the kindness of his heart did that, but before he even did that, um, he surprised me with, which is what we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to, um, unbox or open, um, some brand new items, some makeup items, we're going to swatch them, and we're going to try them out on my lips, all in one video. So I hope you guys are ready for that sort of thing. It's Friday night, or it's after Friday night, so it's technically Saturday in the morning here in Texas where I live. But regardless of the time, I'm so happy that you're here. If you're one of my 95 subscribers, I love you so much. Even if, even if you're not subscribed, I love you very, very much. Okay, girls and boys, um, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Sorry, I forgot my chopstick. And since I'm going to be trying out um, unboxing, swatching, and trying out... Um, to brand new um, lip lip products, and I'm just gonna go ahead. I'll go ahead and show everything that I got. Um, these are like I've used I used I've used this uh, kind once before. Um, this I'll put this down here. Um, this the, the Equate brand, um, which is, I guess is the Walmart brand, because um, I have the receipts right here. You know, and I'll I'll, I'll tell you guys the prices of all the products and everything. If you guys are interested and want to try them or whatever. Um, these are Equate Beauty, um, compared to Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleanser Cleansing Tablets, and I love a good knockoff. And, um, these are also a knockoff, and they live, to the, live up to the expectations of Neutrogena as well. So, they're just Makeup Remover Cleansing Tablets. Dissolves all traces of makeup, removes waterproof mascara, alcohol, and oil-free. I like the sound of that. Cool. And, like, I'm just gonna unbox those and, like, take the little, uh, seal off or whatever and smell them, because I'm a fragrance, a fragrance queen. Not when it comes to makeup, but when it comes to removal pads, I like a a good, like, not necessarily floral, but a good fragrance. Yeah, I do. I see why, like, boys and girls that do their nails, like, do that so often, you know what I mean? Because it's like, hello, how are ya? <laughs> hello, manicure. I love you. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, okay. So, I guess the first one we're gonna unbox. No, actually, yeah, because this is the, will be the first step in my, and is going to be the first step in my new routine now. Um, Joe knows how much, my fiance Joe, my boyfriend Joe knows how much that, like, I've been dying to try a brand new setting spray, and how he knows how much I love to try, um, new products in general on my YouTube channel. So, um, this is brand new, and I guess since, um, you know, we're on, the, we, I can rip this little thing off, because that's just a distraction that says free off or whatever, but there might be a little, um, a little discount code or something right there, you know, co code, oh. And my, my, uh, my lighting <laughs> fell off, that's okay, um, we're just starting out, you know, things are not perfect here, uh, at, in Steesburger land, and Steez, in Steesburgerville, whatever, uh, I'm not gonna edit that out, because why would I? Um, that would be very inauthentic, um, edits are only, like, you know, important whenever you forget your chapstick, girls and boys, I'm just kidding, you can edit whenever you want, as long as you're being true to yourself, and to your audience, and your viewers, because that's all that matters. Are you eyeing that messy top bun, that's super messy and pieces are falling out? Me too, I'm gonna adjust that momentarily, but, um... Not before I try out my brand new, and it says right here, new. <laughs> it was on the new aisle. These are all from Walmart, by the way. Not non-sponsored by Walmart, because I don't think they would ever sponsor um, somebody as androgynous as moi. <laughs> but, um, okay. This is Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Tone Set Refresh. Refreshingly clean. Um, facial mist. Mist. Conditions and balances skin. Fragrance and paraben free. Yes, fragrance free. Good. Awesome. Uh, multi-benefit mist, here I'll kind of like do like this, multi-benefit mist, gently tones pores, sets makeup and refreshes skin without over drying. So I didn't know this is like a two, three, four in one kind of thing, and I'm a two, three, four in one kind of gal. So like if Joe didn't already know me so well, um, okay, 99% um, natural distilled witch hazel exclusive formula with aloe at the bottom right there. I didn't see that part, so let's see, okay. Um, it tones your pores, it sets your face, and refreshes. So, before you do a full face or whatever, I guess, like, I don't know how this... I'm going to test it out first. Oh, it's a very fine mist. You can barely even see it on camera. Okay. Cool. Let me see if the light... If you turn off the light, if it's the big light, if it's a little better. Okay, yeah, you can see. Okay, this is... Um, I do have to say, um, how much is this way? I'm just curious. It, it says 2019 on the package. Um, 
the weight, I guess the weight isn't that important. Um, uh, wait, okay, 3.5 ounces, um, 99.2 grams. Right there. Um, I was just wondering, because it, it's, it's filled to the top, you guys, you know what I mean? So let's just see. I've never done a setting spray before. So, I've never even used a setting spray. I know that's, like, so stupid and, like, you know, like, I'm sure, like, beauty gurus and, like, you know, like, people that actually are beauty gurus are gonna, like, are going to totally drag me in the comments. That's cool. Because, like, I'm, I'm authentic and I'm, I'm just being honest. This is the, my, my first setting spray and I'm so excited to try it out on camera, live, for the first time for you guys. Okay, yeah, you gotta get, you gotta get back a little bit. I see, I see how it works now, though. Absolutely. Oh my god. I can see it toning my pores already right before your eyes. God, and like, I'm so comfortable getting this close to the camera and knowing that I have discoloration, and you know what I mean? And like, knowing that I have, um, you know, like, um, irritation, and I'm broken out, and I have redness, and I have dark circles, and that's okay. <laughs> like, I'm never gonna be perfect, and makeup just accentuates what I already have, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't have insecurities, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about, um, unboxing, um, and swatching, and trying out new products that my boyfriend surprised me with, and also did my nails, so that's just a little, you know, uh, a little two fur there, or three fur, four fur, five fur, how, uh, however many fur you prefer. <laughs> But um, also, this video is dedicated to my mom, Stacy, um, who is recovering from surgery. And um, if you guys um, take away anything at all from this video, it's that um, I want more than anything for you guys to please keep her, um, to, to please keep my mother, Stacy, um, in your thoughts and prayers. She's recovering very, very well. Um, but that uh, that would mean a lot to me if you guys could do that. Um, I love you so much, Mom. I know that you're going to watch this. I know that you were really, really tired when I texted you around um, 9 o'clock, but I got your text message a little bit late. My phone does that sometimes because you don't have AT&T also. But I love you so much, and I, I, um, I can't wait to come visit you. And I might have a little um, sweet surprise. <laughs> hint, hint. My mom, my mom and I both are cut from the same cloth, are the same person pretty much, um, and we both have a huge sweet tooth. So, yeah, that's hint, hint. I love you, Mommy, and I can't wait for you to see this. I can't, that's so weird, it came out naturally, but I, I never call, I never call you mommy, mom, ever. I normally just call you Stuce or mom, Stuce or mom, it's an inside thing. But, um, okay, I can't decide which one I want to do first, but I think I'm going to do this one first, okay. Um, this one, it's, it's, it's also new, so, like, I love doing new products and swatching new products or whatever on my channel. Um, it's by Wet n Wild, um, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. I love that, I mean, you know what I mean? Um, I've never used a Wet n Wild product other than a Wet n Wild brush. Um, for instance, this one right here that I use for highlighter, um, which is also going to match, um, my nails perfectly, like, because I'm going to use the, my Fenty Beauty, um, highlighter, and just so happens that it has all these tones in it. Just wait till I can do the comparison. It's crazy. Like, are Fenty Beauty and Sally Hansen, um, like, or did they, like, collide and make this shade? Because I swear to you, check this out. <sighs> There's a little bit of loose pig pigment in here because I'm a highlighting queen. But, like, just in, for, for comparison purposes, come on. We did not even plan that, you know what I mean? Like, that was not planned. Just so happens. Yeah, that's going to be on my face, and that's just, that's how my nails are going to look. But, um, okay, so let's see how easy this is going to be to open. Okay, it's just a little twist off top, twisty top thing. Cool. So see how the plastic is. Okay. A little bit of a bitch, that's cool. I just twist it off completely. Okay. The plastic kind of came off with it. That's cool. I can fix that um, if I do a little cut or stop or whatever. Or I don't have to fix it at all right now. But that's a good sound. And it's not just the plastic. You know what I mean? Um, hello, pigment. Oh, did I, did I even say the shade name? Did I forget the shade name? I totally forgot the shade name, didn't I? I'm such an idiot. Okay. Shade name is... The shade is teal. And it's so funny that that's the shade name or whatever. You know what I mean? Because, come on, focus. The shade is teal. I think you guys believe me, but maybe if I hold it like this. Okay, I've seen Graveyard Girl do this a million times, but it's so much harder than it looks. I'm just not getting used to this whole, like, semi-professional YouTuber thing. But, um, by the way, thank you so much for all the love and all the likes and all the views lately, you guys. Like, it's so humbling and it's so much fun, like, being yourself and people liking you for being yourself is, like, the most humbling thing in the entire world. And I could not be more grateful to be on such an open and loving platform and to be embraced with open arms by strangers, but, the, but they don't feel like strangers, they feel like my 
you know, quirky, like, unconventional family, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I, re I really wouldn't. But, um, no, it's 97, um, the shade is, uh, 974A. The shade is teal. That's by Wet n Wild. Okay, the plastic's kind of just coming off, so let me just go ahead and finish her off, because I don't like a little bit of excess plastic. And, yes, I recycle, so. And, I mean, honestly, for Wet n Wild, um, beautiful color. Uh, if, if the pigment holds up in the swatch or whatever, um, let you guys get a really, take a look. And, like, the PR's not bad. Honestly, um, and I'll read the prices after I get through showing off, um, the second lipstick. <clears throat> this, I didn't, I didn't even know, I mean, I, I knew CoverGirl made eyeshadows and everything, but I've honestly never even seen a CoverGirl, and this is not me dra dragging CoverGirl, I live for CoverGirl, you know what I mean? I have a lot, I have CoverGirl products, like, I mean, I don't have to prove it, but I do, you know what I mean? I love CoverGirl, um, people, people think that I don't, but I do. So, um, this one I'm really excited about, um, it's also, was in the new section, um, right next to the Wet n Wild, it was actually behind the counter, and the people at Walmart, like, made Joe wait, like, 20 minutes, and he still did it out of the kindness of his heart whenever he was on his way home from work, because he loves me so much, and, um, yeah, this video is also kind of dedicated to him in a way, I guess, but, um, because it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for him. None of this, none of these nails and these looks and not, yeah, none of this would be possible. The setting spray, like, none of it. And by the way, I have to tell you, since that setting spray has dried, um, not only does it feel like I had, like, a mini eyebrow left, um, I can just, like, my, my, my pores are smaller. They are. Like, if you want to reverse, like, five minutes, I promise you, they're, they're smaller. Okay, I don't know how, like, I'm, how this is going to come apart exactly. Do I break the little seal on? Okay, let me just do, go ahead and just, okay, say so cover girl. Um, 470 Peacock. Demi matte and just says demi matte but spelled differently. Yes. So let's see how it comes off. Do I need to get some sort of I don't know what? It can't be that. Because like the first time I tried to Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. <gasps> That's gorgeous. It's a okay. There's a hair on it and I just unboxed it, but what are you gonna do? Um it's from Walmart. Just kidding. I love it. I stand for Walmart. <laughs> but, um, hello, like, um, upping your game, um, cover girl with your packaging. Because that's sleek. Let's be honest. That's really sleek. Like, um, uh, just for instance, like, I mean, this is, um, this was, uh, $8.99 at Target. You know what I mean? Revlon. And let's, let's just, let's just be real for a second, you guys. Cover girl stepping it up. Like, look at that. That shade is gorgeous. I've, and like, that's the thing about it. It's like, is it, is it, is it green? Oh, I gotta be careful. I already messed up, already messed up, messed up the end, but we're about to swatch it anyway, so that doesn't matter. Um, but look at that shade. It's like, is it, is it pink? Is it, is it green? Is it blue? Um, I don't know. It's a mystery. It's like a peacock feather. You and I can figure it out together. Okay, so. Now, it is time to swatch. And, um... Well, I guess I'll go ahead and, um, reveal the prices and my receipt. Um, the total that, um, that Joe spent at Walmart was $53, uh, and, uh, 50, 52, uh, $52.07. I'm sorry, I was looking at the cash, ten, the for $52 cash that was given to the person at the register, whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, okay. So, um, the setting spray, uh, DKSNWH spray was 788 plus tax right there okay and I can't believe like it actually focused on that but it would have focused on the bottom of the lipsticks whatever <laughs> I love you camera I love you equipment you're doing great but that's weird that it wouldn't focus on the other on the lipstick but whatever. that's fine okay um and then CG exit exhibit exib lip which I would imagine would have which I would imagine stands for like exhibit or like you know exhibitionist something like that doesn't say that on the on the PR or whatever that's fine on the package that's cool um but it was uh, five ninety two plus tax. Right there, yes. See like the CG exhibit lip, yeah. Um, if you guys want to pause right there or whatever, um, you can kind of like be like, oh, okay, with your finger, because like I'm really bad at that kind of stuff too. And I do that, and whenever I watch like my favorite YouTuber videos, like I pause it and screen grab stuff like for later, just for my own peace of mind and like, trying to like somewhat maintain that sense of sanity that I'm trying to clutch onto. <laughs> um. YouTubers, right? Tell me about it. Okay, um, <clears throat> all right. Have I said how much I, I love Rich Lux yet in this video? Because I love Rich Lux. He's so nice. He's so freaking nice. The most down-to-earth, like, 
I mean, I'm going to say a celebrity, like public figure that I've ever talked to. And I've, I've talked to a few, and that's not me name dropping because I haven't said any names. But he's he's the realest, like he's the real deal. Rich Lux is the realest bitch on YouTube, and I don't say that lightly. He's so, like, what you see is what you get. Like, he's beautiful, he's awesome, his personality is everything. I live and stand for him. But, um, okay, let me get to because I'm starting to ramble and um, fangirl out about Rich Lux, like I tend to do. And I'm going to try to stop doing that because I'm sure it's very annoying to him. And he's like, I get it, girl, you love me. But, you know, I do. I love you, Rich. I love you so much. And this receipt is for you. Honey. The house. The house. Yeah, I can't, I can't do. That wasn't very good. Um, <clears throat> the house. The house. The house. The house. Mm. Put me on the spot, Rich. I swear. I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay. Now I just look like a creeper. I'm a total creeper now. Um, okay. And then, um, the W in W, which I'm assuming is the Wet n Wild, obviously. I, did, I just now put the two together, uh, when, while reading the receipt. Um, uh, W, W and W matte lip was four sixty eight plus tax. So, um, around six bucks plus tax for both of them. That's pretty cool. So, and then, um, do five, uh, do seven eighty eight uh, plus tax for the spray. And then my wipes, um were 348 on the, the very first thing on the row right there yes 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 um i don't need this anymore so i'm not going to return any of this stuff most likely well let's de depending on the swatch <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that um i'm going to i mean even though i'm very sanitary and everything um i just just because like i want it to be a fair swatch and just in case there's some loose pigment from makeup from earlier today, whatever, I'm just gonna, like, um, use one of my Equate, um, nighttime soothing, um, moist towelettes, makeup removing towelettes, um, and that this is where I swatch, and I, I like to, I like to swatch over my tattoo area, honestly, I do, um, just because, like, you can really tell if something has pigment, you know what I mean? Okay. <sighs> That's so wet, like, that is so wet. <laughs> BRB. <sighs> okay. Your girl, your girl Steez is back, um, yeah, I, uh, I just kind of, like, damn, uh, What's the word? Patted down, patted down my arm dry a little bit because I got it a little too damp or too moist with my towelettes, my makeup removing towelettes, my equate ones. Um, so I did that off camera really quickly because that was boring. The house. It was. It was super boring. Um, and I didn't use that term like in a hyperbolic fashion. I actually meant it. That was so boring the house. I'm glad you guys didn't have to see that. Okay. So I guess first, um, since I opened this one first, we're going to do... We're going to swatch and see how wearable and blendable it, it is because I've never used a Wet n Wild um, lip product ever, so I'm really excited. I know that um, Rich Lux. Um, no, this is last I'm gonna. I'm going to show you how rich. I swear. Um, well, not not ever, but in this video. Um, I know that you uh, you stand for and live for and love Wet n Wild foundation and concealer because like I know you talked about them, talked about that that on your channel as well as I believe Luscious uh, Masker also loves it, right? Luscious, correct me if I'm wrong. Because if I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to be like, bitch, I'm sorry. Like, I plead guilty <laughs> up in her. But, um, okay. So, the shade, once again, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and, like, n I feel like Wet n Wild doesn't get enough credit. Like, smaller brands don't get enough credit. So, like, it's called uh, Mega Last. It's got a little, it's got a lady with cat in a cat suit, like, doing, like, like looking at her nails like this. I'll, so, I, I don't, I don't think I showed, showed it off properly last time whenever I displayed it to you guys in Vanna White fashion, like I always do, or, or I try to do at least. Um, but it's Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. Yeah, get the full fantasy for a second. You know what I mean? Like, so look at the girl and the cat looking at her nails. That's pretty cool. Like, Wet n Wild's up their game for sure because I've seen some of their products on the shelf before. I've just never dabbled. And um, this is one of the higher end. Like, there were some cheaper ones. So Joe was like, he got the most expensive out of the um, that were behind the lock and key thing at Walmart. So I was like, oh, thanks, girl. But I was like, I just wanted to try some low end, high end. I hate those terms, but I like to mix low and high end whenever I'm doing a full face. And that's what I'm going to do after I do my swatches and everything. So. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's get onto that swatch, girls and boys and everybody. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's a fragrance because I didn't do that last time. I'm gonna be fair and make sure that that brush has a lot on there. Okay, I do like how there's an angled brush. That's the first thing I'm gonna say. Um, that's an iconic shade of blue. Um, it's called the shade is teal. I think I showed you guys that earlier, but that's a that's a wonderful shade. I just instinctively want to put it in my lips, but let me smell it first and do a little fragrance test. Nothing. 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 
almost got some on my nose, may have, whatever. That's gonna be all over my face anyway. Since, like, um, the entire, since Jeffree Star's entire Blue Blood collection is sold out anyway, um, this is, this is, this could be a Blue Blood inspired, like, swatch and look, cause, you know, I still stand for him regardless of his intention of, and how he feels about me. I, I will say that until the day that I drop dead, which hopefully isn't soon, but you never know, girl. Okay, so let's give this Wet n Wild. The shade is teal, uh, liquid matte, um, Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick, a shot, and a good swatch. <gasps> oh my god, on my pasty, pasty skin, it looks even better than I thought. Okay. Oh my god, and because we're going to be super fair, and um, because we are super, super fair on, on my channel, um, I'm going to just like get in there and work, and work some more products under that brush, which goes on there effortlessly. Um, I do have to say... Uh, it's still blendable. It's still very moist. Um, you can do a lot with it. Um, it's buildable, as you can see. Um, it's, uh, okay, it's a liquid, but, um, it feels like a wax. It feels like, um, this kind of a lipstick. You know what I mean? With that kind of an end. Um, that's what it feels like on the skin, which I appreciate. Um, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of time to blend it if you had a little slip up, a little a little minor slip up, like some of us girls do sometimes, you know, like us just now starting out, uh, beauty gurus, wanna be beauty gurus, you know, like us clout chasers or some people like to say. Yeah. Um I don't know why whenever I'm being shady and addressing my haters that I get that I use a southern accent. <laughs> because I never have one. I've never had one. But um even though I'm from Texas I've never had one. But I do. <sighs> that is gorgeous. The shade is teal. God, and I thought, like, my Golden Girl shirt was teal, but no, that's more like a mint green. Um, and also, yeah, it's so funny, like, look at, uh, Blanche's face. She's, Blanche's face, like, it, that's not the shirt, like, she actually has blush all over her, and that's from me. I slept in the shirt, and there's no shame in my YouTube game. I'll, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Okay. Um, I love being myself, and being authentic, and being silly, and knowing that's okay. And, like, knowing that I have approval of people that matter, and my family, and friends, and, um... Just, I mean, I'm not trying to be like, oh, like, Steve's is proud of himself, but I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself, and I'm so, I'm so honored, um, and feel so accomplished that 95 people, like, take the time out of their day, like, to notice me, or have taken the time out of the day to notice me. Um, it means so much because I've been working so hard, and, um, my hard work is finally starting to pay off, and it's finally starting to show for it. And I know the second that you start talking about that kind of thing, even though it's a reality for someone that actually wants to make YouTube a career, like me, um, I'm, you know, I'll probably, you, like, lose two or three subscribers like I did whenever I made my 100 subscriber announcement. Whatever, you know, shit happens, that's fine. You know, to each their own. I wouldn't personally, like, unsubscribe from somebody or unfollow somebody, like, that, that posted that, but, like I said, to each their own. But, um, we're going to be next watching, um, by CoverGirl, um, 470 Peacock Demi Matt. I'm really, really excited about this one. Like, I'm excited about both of them, and I'm excited about combining them both, like, together on the lip, but I'm also excited about, com like, trying them on my eyes as well for, like, a, f a full, like, blue blood fantasy on a budget. Oh, my God. I could, I should, I could, I could totally, ooh, let's check that out. Okay. With the light on first, and then we'll turn the light off to see the difference. Like, with LED professional insignia lighting, and then with just, like, basic bitch lighting that's, you know, in my tiny house. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, if you guys were wondering, like, why I always shoot my videos in the bathroom, it's because I live in a tiny house, and it's where my, my I have, like, four shelves of makeup station, and, um, it's just where my tripod is, and it's, like, I'm six foot five and a half, and my head touches the roof whenever I stand up really tall, and it's the most practical place to film. Like, trust me, I've tried to set up my tripod everywhere, and, because it, basically, basically, this is a, um, a recreational vehicle, or, or an RV, or a camper, how terminology is beside the point, whatever. You guys know what I mean. Um, it was just converted into a tiny house, so, um, it has, like, all the, um, you know, accommodations of a house or whatever. It's just, like, we can move it where we can move, uh, at the, uh, uh, you know, at the drop of a hat, whenever you want, and I like that freedom, and I also like, um, I like, uh, the stability, and just knowing that all I have to pay is, like, the lot fee, and, you know what I mean, and, like, phone bills and insurance and stuff like that, and, yeah, <laughs> it's, I, I, sometimes I go off on a little bit of a rant, but, um, you guys already know that on my channel, if you're watching this, and, like, 8 out of 10 of you, most likely, so, this isn't new to you, so let's see how this swatches, I'm really, really curious about it, and what, it's so funny, because, like, I, it's like I'm having deja vu or something, but, um, oh my god, look at that. So buildable. Barely have to apply any. I'm putting no pressure on it at all. Um, I just want to make it, like, about the same size as the swatch above it. No, but, um, it's so funny because, like, I'm having a deja vu moment, I swear. Um, I honestly, like, 
this one feels, this one is a wax technically formula, you know what I mean, like the packaging is wax, like it's a wax lip, it's a wax lipstick, as opposed to this one, you know what I mean, that comes out in liquid form, like on this kind of a brush, it, they're different, they're different formulas, and they're different um, components, you know what I mean, but um, this one, that, that's like, that says liquid on it, you know what I mean, uh, like they're both matte, you know what I mean, they both dry relatively quickly, whatever, like this one's, um, th this one's still very buttery and creamy, as you can see, they're both very, very buttery and creamy, which I appreciate, um, I can already tell you right now, that this one is a lot more wizard cape purple than I thought it was going to be, and it's so much more peacock-like. Um, oh yeah, I was going to turn the lighting off, that's right. Um, but it's so much more peacock-like than I expected it to be. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I think they're both gorgeous blue shades, and I definitely think that they, uh, they're they in the Blue Blood and Jeffree Star's uh, Blue Blood Collection vein. They're definitely in the same vein as that. But um, I like the contrast with my nails, too. How are ya? Hi. <laughs> Hi, um, Fenty Beauty Chills on my nails. Love you, girl. Okay, so we've swatched, oh yeah, I almost forgot to smell these, because these are different for some reason, like, I don't know what the difference is, but like, this, this, this equate, these equate, um, makeup removing pads, um, are purple or lavender, and these are blue, so I just want to see what the, if there's a difference in fragrance or what the deal is, so, let's get that little thing off, I don't want to mess up my nails, girls, I just had them did by my man, so, oh. okay, there we go, perfect. Ooh. Ooh. It just, it's like, it smells like clean linen. Like clean linen, you know what I mean? Like there's like candles and like glade sprays and stuff like that. That smell like that. What do you guys think? Take a big whiff. Like a big like two second inhale. Like. Right? I know. I know. Okay. Cool. So now I have plenty of makeup. Okay, um, sorry about the random edit right there, um, my camera got quote-unquote overheated, so I let it cool off for like 20 minutes, and I do have to say, um, this Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel tone, Toning, Setting, and Refreshing, um, Refreshingly Clean Facial Mist, uh, like, it, uh, like I said, I had to wait, um, like 20 minutes or whatever before I started filming again, and, um, I made sure I moisturized my lips and stuff to apply the new products, and, um, uh, you know, before I do that, I'm going to, uh, do my foundation and concealer and everything, but, um, no, like, I can, I can honestly, like, I can feel this toning and tightening my pores, like, I don't know if, like, um, if you guys can see a difference just yet, but, um, I can, seeing as I'm somebody that looks in the mirror every single day, and yeah, um, this hair is, like, at a super awkward stage, and I never know what to, I never know what to do with it, <laughs> I'm just getting props here and there, um, uh, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's about the makeup. It's not about the hair, girl. So, girls and boys. So, let's do this. Um, <clears throat> okay. For, um, foundation, since, um, it, <laughs> it's non-spots, obviously, by CoverGirl, but, um, we, we, we will use my CoverGirl, um, five, uh, 520, uh, Creamy Natural Clean Powder Foundation for Normal Skin. Yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. It's always upside down. It doesn't matter how I do it. I swear it always looks upside down or backwards or whatever, but I, then I'm like, oh yeah, that's, it's the reflection of what, of what I'm doing on the monitor, that's right, Steez, oh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go in with this, and really, uh, beat that face, the, uh, give my face a little bit of base, if you know what I'm saying, I don't know, there really was no double, triple entendre, entendre there, like, whatsoever, like, at all, but, um, you know, leave it to me to, to, to leave it to Steez to try to, like, muddy things up, and, yeah, that's, that's me for you, girls and boys. Okay. Since I have professional lighting and like equipment and audio and a tripod and everything, um, I'm pretty sure I don't even need to use a compact for my foundation step. Probably not even conceal it. We'll see. We'll see how ballsy um, Mrs. Steesberger is feeling this evening. Oh my god, yeah. I stand by this um, powder foundation. It's awesome. I probably um, owned it and it's the first time ever using it. For about a month now, um, I'll definitely purchase another one when this one runs out. Uh, it's lightweight, um, it's very blendable, it's very buildable, and um, it doesn't clump, and it wears just like a liquid foundation, which I really appreciate. And you know, it said that um, as like a little disclaimer on the packaging, bristle hair on mouth. Got it. And I was like, there's no way, you know what I mean? There's no way. That's not, it's not gonna, there's no way it's gonna wear like a, um, a liquid, and it absolutely does. You know what I mean? If, if you guys can, if you guys look up closely, I mean, if you guys look closely or look up close, um, you can see like, uh, it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't look like it, it just, it doesn't look powdery at all. Like maybe that's just me. I'm feeling a little Amy Winehouse, um, fantasy. 
Who, I mean, who, let's be honest, who doesn't love a good beehive here and there? Oh yeah, I forgot about the nails. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> okay. She's got some foundation on. Okay, for um, concealer and neutralizer, we're gonna dive into my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, neutralizing and concealer and concealing or concealer palette. You guys already know I'm gonna use a little bit of this neutralizing um, mint green right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm gonna dive into this beigey tone next to it that you can barely even really see the true color, but that's it right there, the true color. And then I just go one, two. Three. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I really, and then I, this is just the applicator brush that they give you with the little, um, with the, the compact itself. So, yeah, this is what I, this is how I do it. I do my problem areas, any discoloration, and that's my under eye bags, my T-zone, and, um, my nose. So, any excess, you know what I mean. So there's no method to my madness when it comes to, when it comes to concealing at all. So I'm going to go in with my beauty, one of my beauty sponges, and then I'll use my Big Daddy buffer um, to really get in there. But um, I'm going to use this side of it, of, this, of my Elf Cosmetics um, beauty spon sponge. Also not spons, I just like, um, I have, a, I just happen to own a lot of uh, the same, the same brand of, I mean different products from the same brand. It just so happens, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. I love this part of the makeup process. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love a good, like, like easily, like, like concealer that like blends effortlessly, you know what I mean? Let's be honest, who doesn't love that and live for it? I know that I do. Watch, I mean, like, God, remember those bags and stuff? Also, this is, for, um, for by the way, if you haven't ever, if you've never used um, ELF's um, neutralizing concealers before, this palette right here um, was $4.95 at Target. I, um, I got it in my little Target haul. But yeah, if you're looking to try, if you're a, or a lady or a man or anyone, that wants to try or is looking to try or dabble in a new concealer, that's one that you should definitely try. I'm not really a price queen or anything like that, but whenever I saw the price, I was like, there's no way, you know what I mean? It's like you're going to have to like really buff it and like really get in there, but you don't at all. It's effortless and, you know, I'm a pasty bitch, so obviously like if you're not, you could use like um, two, the two deeper tones, you know what I mean, towards like the, on each end, but um... You know, depending on your skin tone, those two tones work perfectly for me. See what I mean? Goodbye, bags. How are you? Well rested, Steez. Okay. That hair's coming apart right in front of my eyes. It's it's like my hair is a living and breathing entity. But what are you going to do? As, I mean, I swear, give me like a good two or three weeks. It's going to be out of that awkward stage. I'm going to like straighten it or like crimp it. And you guys are going to be gagging. I promise. So just give me some time. Okay. We're concealed. Okay. Um, I mean, I know it's like, this is all about lips and stuff, but I want to make sure, like, um, we, we, we got a good base, and we're cakey, we're just cakey enough, uh, for my new products. So, um, uh, I'm gonna do blush, and then we're gonna dive into my new, my new lip products, and depending on my mood and the blush that I choose, um, you know, uh, we'll go from there and see which, what, what I'm gonna do with my eyes and everything like that. So you guys already know, my, I'm going to dive into my e.l.f. Light Cream Blush Palette. I'm feeling a hot pink fantasy tonight, so I'm diving into this color right here. It's like semi-metallic, not really very metallic though at all. <sighs> okay. Okay, there we go. Mm. A little goes a long way with this stuff. It's also like, it's a powder, um, it's a powder product, it's a powder blush, obviously, but it wears, and it's so blendable, it wears just like a liquid. You guys already know if you're if you're um, familiar with my channel or you're and you're not like brand new to my channel. If if you are, thank you. Even if even if you aren't, thank you for being here. But you guys know that I'm paranoid about that blush line and not and not um mat them not matching up and not getting in, into my hairline. I like work it all the way into my hairline, so like so much into my hairline that it like goes into my ear. But I don't care. Ooh yeah. It's subtle, but you know what I mean? She's a blushing bride, and I love being a blushing bride. Any any chance in my life that I can be a blushing bride, I'm not going to pass it up, you know what I mean? I love you, Eco Tools. Have I said that yet in this video? I don't know, but I love you, Eco Tools. You guys are awesome. Your products are amazing. Okay, she's blushing, and she didn't ever do the blush this time. Awesome. 
because sometimes she does. If a bitch can't be humble and honest, then a bitch can't do nothing right in this town. Okay, <laughs> I live in Texas. What town, what town am I talking about? Um, I gotta do so. Okay, hang on. Let's just, let's just do a little bit of something back. Okay, at least it's gonna somewhat stay still. God, who knows what damage I did with that. Okay. I can't. Um, it's okay. It's not about it's not about hair, you guys. It's about makeup. Okay, no, that's too distracting. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut for this just because why, you know? It's like my hair's a little bit oily because it's been like thirty six hours since I've taken a shower. So don't don't please don't drag me for that. But um no, it's actually really healthy and it's not really oily. I mean it is it's slightly oily like right at the roots, but um I'm gonna take a shower after I um shoot this video but no um there we go not nearly as distracting okay it's somewhat somewhat symmetrical so I'm not like a bobblehead constantly and, don't, and I don't feel like one at least I mean I know I'm a, I'm a human bobblehead obviously but I don't feel like one and that's all and that's what matters God, hello subtle makeup okay so should we use um, covergirl uh, shade peacock 470 peacock demi matte or should we use um, wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit um, the shade is teal. We're gonna. I'm gonna do them both, uh, and I'm going to like uh, use a makeup removal pad and stuff, and like I'll cut, and then, you know what I mean. We'll do the. Um, we'll do the. Or I, I. We'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna do them both or whatever. Um, but honestly, I think I want to try since I, I. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm going to try them in the order that I unbox them. So um, yeah, and I can't wait until I um, do my shadow and everything, and I can use my Dickinson setting spray to actually like like finalize a look and actually like make it set and see if it actually works and um, lives up to the expectations. So okay, I'm really excited about this. There's no fragrance once again. The shade is teal, you guys. And this is a lipstick I've never tried before. It's an applicator tip I've never tried before, so I'm going to use my compact for this for sure, just to be on the safe side. My lips are already moisturized. I I, uh, I pre-gamed that way, I guess you could say. Okay. Oh, hello, cotton candy. Hmm. Okay. Kind of have to dab it. Okay, I see. I see now. Okay, so yeah, it's a certain kind of applicator. I see now. Mm. For a liquid lipstick, it is so creamy and waxy. And I mean that in a really good way. Yeah, I really do. Let's check it without the light. The big light, I mean. Basic bitch lipstick makeup tutorial. I overdraw, but just enough, you know what I mean? Hashtag androgynous people problems when you have facial hair. I know, a little bit of lipstick always gets in your, gets in your facial hair. That's unavoidable, but I love I love the androgynous fantasy of it all, and I'm feeling it. And I'm and I'm there for it, and I'm and, and I'm I'm willing and I'm able and I love it. So no shame in my facial hair, an androgynous game. Hmm. I guess I need more product. I guess that's the issue here. Let's see, because they're drawn on pretty well. Let's make sure I get some more product on here. Never used this brand before. Never used a wet and wild lip product like I um, previously mentioned. So, <clears throat> giving everything the benefit the benefit of the doubt, of course. This is a very vibrant blue. Mm. It's very buttery and creamy. I think it just takes a lot more product, you guys, than like a Fenty Beauty um, lipstick, for instance. You know what I mean? Like it just it takes a little bit more product.
hashtag facial hair problems. I did it to myself, but... She's coming together. I love it. It's gorgeous. Okay. <clears throat> you guys already know, and I'm going to leave the light off for this part because it's the highlighter, and I want it to be, like, extra super blinding. So, let me set this right here because it's no longer one of my new products. Oh, that's okay, though. That is gorgeous. The shade is teal. Let's give Wet n Wild a round of applause, you guys, and some credit. The shade is so teal. It really is, you guys. Okay. We're going to dive into my Fenty Beauty. Uh, kilowatts edition chills uh, freestyle highlighter <coughs> excuse me huh coffee I didn't bring my beverage with me but that's okay I have my little um <clears throat> wet and wild um <clears throat> uh, fan brush that I use for highlighting <sighs> okay I'm gonna try to not <sighs> go too ham and too crazy did you guys see that fallout I know um, I've been abusing this pan it's not it's not Venti beauty's fault I promise I've had this for less than three weeks, or almost, I've had it for exactly three weeks, and yeah, I've, did, I've done a number on it. I'll probably need one in about one week, because <sighs> I, I stand by this product. I live and love it, live for and love it, and um, I really don't need my compact for highlighter. Honestly, I don't. I cannot wait to see the contrast between this color, which is exactly the same as my nails, and the, and the blue on my lips, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. Everything is that cotton candy, cotton candy fantasy that I knew that I want, that I was gonna be. Just trace that nose ever so slightly. See if that co slight contour that I did off camera did, did anything at all. Maybe from this angle it did. Yeah. I don't like doing my contour on camera, you guys. I'm just being honest. I I do it, but I don't love to do it. Hello, my God. Hello, frozen goddess. Hello, Elsa's gay twin brother. Oh my god, yes. And since this is a freestyle highlighter, and I'm a freestyle kind of bitch, and I've seen Jeffrey and Tati and Nikki tutorials kind of do this with highlighter before, so if the best in the business can do it, I can do it too. Not saying that I'm the best in the business that came out wrong. I'm just saying like that. I mean, if they approve that, that that's a way to apply uh, that you can apply your highlighter. Then I, I'm also going. I'm going to take their word for it because I stand and live for all of them. You know the greats, Jeffrey Tati, Nikki Tutorials, the originals, the greats. Ooh, that perfect little M. Mmm. Hello, kitty. I'm loving it. Mmm. Okay. So, I guess I'm going to wash this off, and then we're going to try on the next shade. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like that was such a waste of a beautiful, beautiful product. Also, it came off in, like, less than eight seconds with, like, two or three swipes. Left my lips feeling a little bit dry, but that's okay because... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, let's feel that highlighter fantasy. She's still there. I just, had, I just washed off, like, this part of my makeup, so that's why I'm all pale right here. You don't see any, like any kind of bronze, anything. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, we're diving into um, 470 Peacock by CoverGirl. It's also, it's a, these are all new products, so I'm testing uh, from the setting spray to both lipsticks. They're all three new. They're in the new department, so I love to test anything new on my channel. So let's see how this one applies. Let me grab my little e.l.f. blush palette, um, light cream blush palette uh, compact, because I like how big the mirror is. It's big, and I like it. Okay, I'm really excited about this one, and that's that's why I wanted to close the look with this one, is because I think it's going to be going to be, going to be my favorite. And Joe probably already knew that. I mean, he knew that I was going to love both of them, but this one, I just I just have a feeling like it's called Peacock. Come on, effortless application. Oh my God, I've worn a lot of lipsticks. Wow. I'll turn the light back on for this part. <laughs> Gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm. 
it tastes like, um, it tastes like, it tastes like a waxy lipstick, like, like, um, do you, do you guys remember, like, in, like, the late 80s to, like, mid-90s, um, like, you would, like, you, you would try on your mom's or, like, your grandmother's lipstick, and it would taste, like, super waxy, like, waxy, but, like, also taste like whale blubber, that's what it tastes like, but in, like, a nostalgic way, even though it's kind of, like, sad and, like, I feel bad for the whales, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. Cover girl lipstick. There's that pigment. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where'd she go? Was she scared? She came, she's coming out. She's coming out to play tonight, you guys. She's so excited. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's so buttery, it's so creamy. Does it take a little bit of product to get to, to get that full like peacock fantasy? Yes. Is that a bad thing? No, because it's really, really buildable and it's really, really blendable. And I'm definitely gonna use this use this as shadow in, in a video that uh, to follow this one for sure. I mean, at some point on my channel, you'll see that. You'll see this lipstick as shadow, I promise. I even had some on my tooth. <laughs> it's that kind of lipstick, you guys. I love it. I just like to make sure that Cupid's that Cupid's bow. Is gonna be there for me for when that highlighter is ready to be applied. Oh I got some in my finger now. Oh I'm a little broken out, so if any if any lipstick's showing in places where it shouldn't be. It's not, it's not, um, it's not Steez's fault or the makeup, makeup's fault, it's my skin's fault. It's, I, you know, I was about to say it's a little patchy, but I don't think that it is. I think that's, I think that's the color. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to be able to be like, you're not, you're not supposed to be able to, be, you're not supposed to be able to just pinpoint it and be like, oh, that's, that's purple, that's green, that's blue. That's because it's supposed to look like beautiful, vibrant peacock feathers. And it does. I stand. I'm living for it. But, um, because I had to wash off, um, my previous lip color, I didn't have to, but I chose to. Because I wanted to end the video in this in this peacock look by CoverGirl, I'm gonna go back and dive back into my um, Kilowatts Edition Chills um, Freestyle Highlighter Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Just top off that highlighter because I just I don't feel like I have enough. I never, you know what I mean? Like sometimes a girl just uh, sometimes she just doesn't have enough highlighters. I mean, at least sometimes she feels like she doesn't. Let's work all that product up to the tip of that brush. Hello, Mariah Carey, circa 2002 lips. Mm, love it, okay. Go back in for a snatch of that nose. Twirly, twirly, twirl on the tip. You know I love a shine from all angles. Oh, God. I can't get enough. Freestyle, they call it freestyle for a reason. Because if you're if you're one of the people if you're one of those people um, like me, when when it comes to highlighter you can't have enough and like to really compliment like a look um, like a, a lip look or you know trying trying out a new product or whatever you want to just go a little ham and crazy and just do it all into your blush line and around your eyes completely. That's okay because it's a freestyle highlighter and that's exactly what it's for. <sighs> Thank 
you, Rihanna. I love you so much, girl. Okay, um, for shadow, we're gonna dive into my Morphe 35K palette, which is one of the one of the, well, the most classic and iconic um, palettes on the market to date. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, I've had it for a year and a half, and um, it's super, um, it's been used a lot, and uh, it's just, it holds up, and it's, it's just, I love Morphe. If you're, uh, Linda Morphe, if you ever see this, I love you, girl. Your products are fantastic, but you already know that. That's why you're rolling in it. But, um, ooh, hello, nails that perfectly match my highlighter. Thanks, sugar daddy. Oh, hello, Cupid's bow. How are ya? Oh, hello, contour. Okay. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by um, my up-and-coming beauty guru-ness. <laughs> as soon as my hair's out of that awkward stage, you guys are going to be, like, so much more shooketh, I promise. Okay. I'll just gesture with my Fenty, my Fenty Beauty Tiger Teeny um, matte uh, orange shade. <laughs> Since we're, since we're trying to go, like, we're feeling that peacock, blue blood, icy, ice princess fantasy, you know, like Elsa's gay brother from Fro Frozen fantasy, um, yeah, let's do something cray and silver like this. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna mix these two shades right here. Let's take a long, hard look at those, yeah. I've used them before for a reason, you guys. Okay, let me find a good brush for my lids. This one's really good, too. Uh... And this one, I'm not really trying to, I'm not trying to go for a crazy look. I'm just trying to go for a look that'll really compliment um, the lips. Because it's all about the lips in today's video. Um, <clears throat> okay. And I lost the little, um, you know, the thing that tells you the shade names. But it, you, if you guys want to look it up, you are more than happy to. It's the two shades, um, second, from, or next to the last row. I'm just going to mix it, mix them in there. There's barely any fallout with Morphe <laughs> at all. Even the age of this palette, it doesn't matter. That's beside the point. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Still haven't quite gotten over that cold. What are you gonna do? Okay. Let's turn on the light and break out this palette. <coughs> and I just, I mean, who doesn't love a highlighted, a good highlighted eye? You know what I mean? Because I do. Are you kidding me? I'm in love with it already. Oh, I love it. Make sure I get it all in that crease. If I want to smoke it out a little bit, I can. All the way down to that lash line. Never forget, people. Ooh, look how it just blends effortlessly into that highlighter. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm in love. Okay, but that's not enough just yet. Um, let me buff this really quick too with my um, Big Daddy Eco Tools brush, as I like to call it, my Big Daddy brush. See how that just fixes like any, and it wasn't even really a slip up, I just a little bit more product um, got below where I wanted it to and just buff that out effortlessly. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of something to it. What do you guys think? We're feeling the blue fantasies, so um, same brush, little um, Walgreens CVS, uh, uh, Rite Aid, um, one of those stores, you know, uh, brush. I'm not sure which one it was though. I don't think, it's not patchy. It gives you the illusion, illusion that it's patchy, but that's the peacockness of it all. Like, I keep seeing purple, and I think that's my actual lip, but it's not. Okay. I want something metallic, you know what I mean, to top it off with. So, how about this one? I didn't see that light silver right there. Oh, wait, this is just upside down from the way I had it. Oh, my God. Okay, um... Let's just add, just for, for fun, let's just add a little bit of this fun shade right here. Um, hmm. Let's try this one. Just a little bit of this one. It's a little bit darker, but that might actually soften up things in a way. You'll see what I mean momentarily. Okay. Yes, okay. And see, it softens up things because it, like, kind of takes your t it takes your attention. You're, like, the focal point is no longer just the, just the stark lip, if that makes sense. That was my goal. 
just to like kind of blend it in there a little bit not completely you know what I mean but just enough to where it's like oh okay there's a little bit of pop on that crease and on that eyebrow of color that's a little bit smoky and a little bit silver and a little bit winter inspired and gorgeous and I love it just kind of smoke it out like that around like to your about uh, the, uh, yay and almost to the middle of your brow line and yes I need to tweeze mine you can drag me in the comments all you want I'm so far past it you guys even though I love each one of you, each and every one of you so much, and as long as your, um, you know, criticism is constructive, I love you for um, having an opinion and voicing it. I really do. Your opinions mean a, uh, your opinions as viewers and subscribers, and everyone in between mean a, really does mean really do and really does mean a lot to me. So let me um, turn off the light and feel that like winter frozen fantasy with my mint green shirt. Feeling that. Um, okay, let me just bump out the eyes a little bit. Just smoke, you know, to where they're just smoky enough, to where they're, are they smoky? I don't know, Steez. Are they? Are they? Are they? Yeah, maybe just a little bit, girl. Girls and boys. Okay, let's blend that. One, two, three, four, five. And this brush can do no wrong and does everything. I know people are probably going to, like, drag me in the comments and be like, oh my god, that's not how you do eyeshadow, but... Are you going to be mad at this look? Because it's, it's hard to be mad at this look. I mean, let's be honest, it's hard. Um, okay. I'm absolutely in love with both the products, so I'll show them off one more time. Um, this is Wet n Wild. Um, the shade is teal. Uh, it's amazing. It's a liquid lip. Um, it was, uh, the, uh, not the, okay, that one was, uh, 468 plus tax, and, um, the Peacock that I'm wearing that right now by CoverGirl, the Demi Matte Peacock, um, Yes, uh, was five ninety two plus tax. Um, my setting spray um was seven eighty eight plus tax, and my makeup wipes, my makeup removing wipes, um, Equate brand, um, were three forty eight plus tax. So yeah, do the math. Um, the, it was a little surprise like moment that I uh that my man uh, got for me, but um, I guess in closing, we can close up all my compacts. And, um, really, really set that face with my setting spray, my new Dickinson setting spray. And yes, all the products I used in today's video are new. And no, they're not spots, but don't you like the how my nails match my highlighter perfectly? Me too. But, um, I'm loving the smoky eye with the... I mean, this is... If, you're, if this isn't a blue blood fantasy, I don't know what it is. This is... I mean, it's totally a blue blood fantasy, but also, I'm just... Get, uh, Elsa from Frozen's gay brother. That's how I see it. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. It feels completely different with the full face of makeup on. Oh my god. You can feel your pores tightening. Oh my god. It hydrates your hair too. Um, there's minimal fragrance, if any at all. I'm feeling um, the half-assed Snooki um, or Nicole Polizzi, or Polizzi, um, however you, I forget how you pronounce it. I think it's Polizzi. Nicole Polizzi, Snooki, um, Nicole Polizzi. Uh, poof, like, half-ass poof, um, from, like, you know, circa 2007, 2006. If you don't like that, you can bite it. But, um, I'm just kidding. No, uh, this is just, the, this, this is just the phase and the stage that my hair is at. So we're just all gonna have to deal with it together. Because trust me, it's not, it's not pleasant for me either to deal with. But, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed these, um, swatches. These, uh, me opening these new products. All three of these new products. Um, thank you so much for, um, being a viewer and or subscriber and or anyone that happens upon this video um i'm so humbled for to have any each and every one of you along with me on my youtube journey and um i guess in closing i just want to say that um uh that i hope that my mom feels better i hope that her recovery is going very very well and i hope that you guys can send her some well wishes uh virtually it would mean a lot to me but um whom and what does steesberger love more than anyone and anything in the whole wide world. Well, for one, he loves his cheese heads, and for two, he loves his cheeseburgers. And so next time you guys, stay beautiful, stay spooky, stay quiet if you do ASMR, and stay 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 humble because that <laughs> humility is everything. Authenticity is everything, and that really translates through the camera. And you can tell when someone is being inauthentic. And um I, you know, I've said it a few times on my channel, but um, 2019 is the year of 
of, of authenticity. I feel that in my soul. I know, I know that there's something, um, that that means something, that there's something to that, and that, and that, and I feel that, and I know that. And, um, I will continue to share that message with the world, and I will continue to be here for, for you guys as long as you guys are here for me. Um, and you guys are, and on the, and I, and I never take that for granted, so please don't ever doubt that. Um, I love you so much for watching, but until next time.